Hey everyone, it's Professor Hall, and this tutorial concerns the discussion board for classic literature. I know you've read the instructions and you've already selected the piece of classic literature that you're going to read. I also understand that sometimes that can feel very daunting and isolating. There's nothing more exciting than reading and comprehending a piece of classic literature. The process can be a little intimidating. And so this discussion board is important because you are not alone in this assignment. Everybody in this class is also reading a classic piece of literature. And this discussion board is designed for you to be able to share with other students what you are reading and learn about what they are reading and share your frustrations, your excitement, your joy, your I can't believe I'm doing this with other students in the class. So as you remember, you've already explored this document for the classic writing assignment and you've already selected the piece of literature that you want to read. Now at this point, and I haven't had to change this and I don't want to, so I'm going to click off of this list and talk to you just a second. At this point, I am allowing students to, in some cases, read the same piece of literature. I think it can be wonderful. I also understand students who say, listen, I want to read my own thing. I don't really want to go in on a daily basis and share this with everybody else. I just want to read what I'm reading and learn what I'm learning. And I understand that too. But I think it's valuable to go into this discussion board and first post, there are only four posts required. You can do plenty more than that, but, one, but just this one is required to go in and post the piece of literature that you're reading. That's all you do in the first post. Just, I chose this piece of literature because I'm interested in whatever. Then you're going to find people whose selections are interesting to you. And you're going to reply to them and you're going to actually write longer content about what you're learning in the process. Your valuable resource, your fellow students, are right there for you to tap into and say, I'm right here too. I'm reading this and it's a challenge, but it's wonderful now that I know what I'm doing. And I've already watched that tutorial that I've included that teaches you how to read a classic piece of literature. So, I also understand the risk I take in letting students read the same literature if they so choose because there can be a temptation to copy and paste someone else's essay. And that doesn't work because of tracking and because of the plagiarism software. And all it's gonna do is cancel it out and it's gonna show up. So I don't want that to be the outcome and I've never had to have that as the outcome. And so I have the list of choices and you are free to pick any one of those that you want and share that with the other students in the course. Now, if I see seven people writing on the same piece of literature, that's gonna be a problem. I'm not gonna really believe that seven people all have that same exact interest when it comes to classic literature. And so I'm leaving this open and I want you to use this discussion board and reply back to other students and enjoy this part of the process. Every single student in this class is also reading a classic piece of literature. Many people, I will just speak for myself, I sometimes open up a piece of literature and think what in the world is this about? And I have degrees in this stuff. I look at Paradise Lost and I just think, oh my goodness, what in the world? And so I get help myself from other people. Sometimes I'll seek out scholars. I'll seek out anything I can to understand what it is that I'm reading. 
and I want you to do the same and use this discussion board to communicate with other students in the class and make this a fun part of your learning experience. I don't want this to be a tragedy. I want this to be something that's enjoyable and what a victory. What a victory. How many people do you know who have the courage to take on a piece of cl classic literature, actually read it, and write an essay about it? Not many. So enjoy this. And that concludes this tutorial on the discussion board for classic literature.